Hey guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another video. I hope everybody is doing well. So this is a guitar we unboxed together yesterday at the time of this filming. It's my first real Ernie Ball Music Man and I gotta say I love it. You can go watch that video if you want to see the unboxing and first impressions. Highly recommend it. It was a good time. But at the end of that video there were still more boxes in the kitchen that have remained untouched. So today let's unbox the rest of them. There's more of a theme this time. Like last time it was kind of random. Actually, no, I take that back. The theme last time was cool guitar shit. But isn't it always? Anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Let's open some boxes and see what's coming up on the channel. All right, here we go. First box. Huh, wonder what this could be. You know what? It's been a while since we've unboxed a Fender. Let's open it up. Wow. <laughs> that is a very red guitar. So this is the Strat from Fender's Noventa series. Noventa meaning 90 in Spanish. In reference to the pickups because all of the Noventa series comes with friggin P90s. Fenders with P90s, that's so friggin cool. And they've kind of got like a 1-2-3 theme going on. The Tele comes with one P90, the Strat, this one, with two. And then the Jazzmaster is a triple P90 guitar, which is kind of insane. You know, I've never been like a huge fan of red guitars. The Strat comes in this candy apple red, then Daphne blue and Seafoam green, I think. And to be honest, from the website pictures, this was by far my least favorite. But now that I see it in person, dark transparent stain with the black pick guard, even I have to admit, this is a pretty cool looking guitar. Let's see what the control layout is like. Okay, so it's a three way. None of that five way nonsense like on traditional strats, it's just bridge, both, neck, 21 frets. And I mean, Fender's Mexico facility does a really impressive job these days. Something about the Fender logo, man, it's just classy. Original contour body, I'm not, Sure what that means? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I mean, I'm not nearly as familiar with Fender instruments as I am with Gibson ones. Looks like a Strat to me. Nice satin C-shaped neck. Vintage style tuners that aren't lined up too well. I mean, shouldn't make a difference. It's not a big deal. I'm just not used to seeing that kind of stuff from Fender. They usually don't allow stuff like this to happen, but again, it shouldn't affect playability. Ah, I love that wood grain. Simplified controls, one volume, one tone. It's a hardtail, although for whatever reason, they've included a screw and trem arm. Obviously it comes with a Fender gig bag. Fender is really good at that. Like essentially every Fender that I've demoed for them besides like the player Telecaster, has come with a gig bag and not every brand does that. I think this is new though, like a Fender pick zipper, that's cool. I also love this from Fender. Like they actually care about keeping you learning and playing. It's not just like they sell you a guitar and it's like, job's done. <laughs> Although as an average guitar player, I do feel slightly attacked. Really the big thing is this is an affordable factory Fender that comes stock with P90s. That's not too common and I love the approach that Fender's taking to new models these days. It's like, yeah, they are notorious for re-releasing the classics. And why wouldn't you with a legacy like that? But they're also experimenting with different concepts on the classic themes. Like they've got the alternate reality and parallel universe series where they're mixing and matching classic concepts. Strat with P90s, the Noventus could easily be a part of that. So yeah, this should make for a really interesting future demo. It'll be interesting to see how this compares to a Gibson with P90s, since with the longer scale length, this should be more twangy. Should be able to get some really cool sounds out of this. And obviously, because it is this channel, we'll see how it does with a stupid amount of gain. But yeah, I'm actually really surprised how much I like this in person since I was really not digging the stock photos on the website at all. One last look, stay tuned for the full demo, and uh, let's move on. Before we get into the next box, here's a small box for your pants. Let's take a quick second and thank the sponsor for today's video, Ridge Wallet. So if you're unfamiliar with Ridge Wallet, one, you might not watch as much YouTube as I do, and two, welcome to the channel. They've been a familiar supporter of the channel for a while and they're redefining the wallet. And how are they doing that? Well, traditional wallets kind of really suck. You know it's true. They're bulky, they tend to collect all this useless crap like a mountain of old receipts. I don't know why that happens, I just know that it does. So Ridge decided to do things differently. Super compact design with durable plates made of aluminum, titanium, or carbon fiber, the last of which is what I've been using and I love it. It's the Forged Carbon design, I think that's the name. Looks super cool and they've got a variety of designs to match your personality. They're even RFID blocking to thwart would-be scammers from stealing your card information. I love mine, not carrying around all this useless crap has been really freeing. And if you wanna see why so many people are switching over to the Ridge wallet, head on over to ridge.com slash agafish. And for you guys, if you use the code agafish, you get 10% off your order. Very thankful for their support and the fact that they find the 
the awkward ass segue is amusing too. And they're also running an awesome limited time giveaway with every dollar spent on the website before September 18th, you'll be entered to win an off-road optimized convertible 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Or if you're like me and prefer cash money, there's also $50,000 up for grabs. So yeah, check them out. Free shipping and returns, lifetime guarantee. Code Agafish for 10% off. Ray Pringle. Also want to thank Skull the Blue. Great username and the amazing supporters over on Patreon and everyone that uses the affiliate links in the description. This is a bit more of a quick behind the scenes video because New Gear Day is always exciting and I like to experience it with you guys. But the proper demo videos take a ton of time and they just wouldn't be possible at the quality they are without you guys. And that support allows me to keep improving too. But now enough gushing about how awesome you guys are. Let's see what else is coming up. Next. Box. Fragile is tempting, but I kind of feel like we should save the biggest for last. Let's go with this little box up here. Nice. So this is my first time working with all parts. Shout out to them for sending over these. We got some Schaller strap locks. We've got some vintage style Goto locking tuners. I love these. I mean, you guys know I love the rest of mod vibe where it's like traditional vintage tuners, but with a big old locking thumb screw on there. And Goto is like S tier when it comes to hardware brands. And lastly, this will kind of give away what guitar these parts are going into. A brand new high quality wiring kit with a four way switch for Telecasters. So, I mean, I've only got one guitar these can go into and I really like it as is but if a guitar is a keeper I like doing little modifications to kind of make it my own so there will be a Telecaster themed Nostalgia Fish coming up soon be on the lookout for that I mean I'm excited at least especially uh, to put in that four-way switch. I think that's gonna be really cool. So that's a nice little teaser about a video that's coming up and now uh, we move. Last box at least until next week. Fragile, huh? I'll be gentle. <laughs> That's really fucking weird. Fuck, we move. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> well, that is fucking adorable. Big shout out to Sweetwater for the guitar and the candy. So this is obviously a Squire Jazzmaster, and it's a mini, which is why the pickups and the bridge look absolutely massive <laughs> compared to the body. So cute. And I gotta say, I love the color with the maple fingerboard and the maple neck. Come on, I know it's a mini Jazzmaster, but you can't tell me that color combo doesn't look cool. Like, no lie, looks-wise, this is like one of my favorite Jazzmasters ever. Well, that's a beautiful sound. <laughs> That's so funny, like the pickups and the bridge are full size and the body is just <laughs> really not. Other side, crafted in Indonesia, I didn't see that one coming. I thought this would definitely be China. The neck kind of has that raw, unfinished feel. That's funny, even though this guitar is like 180 bucks, it's got an engraved neck plate The Naventa did not. And yeah, it is cheap, so there's little like visual things here and there, like literally here and there. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, this fretwork <laughs> isn't great. Sharp ends everywhere. But I mean, this isn't the $2,500 dollar Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray we unboxed yesterday. This is an $180 starter guitar <laughs> made for children. And it's not too too bad. Some are better than others, but we can fix that. The nut looks dirty, but it doesn't actually look like it was cut too badly. The tuners feel really cheap, but that's okay. We can replace those easily. I think the most important thing is that the neck actually feels really good. Like it's a nice, comfortable, modern C. The rest I'm not too concerned about. Like it's got great bones for a mod project. And that's typical of Squires. Like even more so than other cheap guitars, they're so modular. Great starting point, do a little work on playability and swap out parts to taste. <laughs> that three quarter body just looks so ridiculous. <laughs> Look how small the strap buttons are. But the reason they've sent this over is there's another box on the way with a shitload of upgrade parts. And we are going to high integrify the crap out of this thing. If you're unfamiliar with the channel, that's when we take a very affordable guitar and dump a stupid amount of high-end upgrades into it. And then we're gonna give it away to one of you guys. So I'm curious to see if you guys can guess what upgrade parts we're gonna be putting into this. And if you were upgrading this, what would you do? Like, I've got a plan in mind already, but if some of the ideas are good, it's not too late to change. <laughs> this thing is so derpy. So huge shout out to Sweetwater for agreeing to do this really dumb project with me. Not just to upgrade it, but to give it away to one of you guys. It's gonna be a stupid amount of fun. I am so excited. Actually, it might be too late to change at this point. Because as I was filming, these two boxes just arrived from Sweetwater. So it's the parts we'll be using to 
upgrade the Derpy Mini Jazzmaster. And another bonus item I think you guys are gonna find very interesting. So let's open up these boxes right now. So that's the first box, and I think I'm probably gonna blur everything out. I'm really excited, so I don't wanna spoil the surprise, but I still wanted to give you guys some teaser clues, see if it helps you guess what we're throwing in the guitar. So those of you who are familiar with aftermarket parts, you might be able to guess from the blurred packaging. And if you do get it, you probably know why I'm excited. <laughs> but now uh, let's open the second box. All right, so I guess I can leave this one in. Like, what else are we gonna use to upgrade the nut besides something from the Nut Masters? Also, like, that is an excessive amount of candy. Guess to see where that private equity money's going, <laughs> giving me diabetes. You know what I'm saying? No, <laughs> but this is a new Focusrite Scarlet interface. USB powered, two input, two output, 48 volt, so you can use a condenser mic with it. It's got the air preamps, same as my Claret, which are really good. You know, just a really well built metal enclosure just a solid solid unit now it's not necessarily the unit itself i think you guys will find interesting like most home musicians know about focus right interfaces they just make some solid stuff it's great for recording guitar but sweetwater is going to be running a sick giveaway around focus right where you build a dream rig worth up to five thousand dollars involving a focus right interface and they're giving you a chance to win that dream $5,000 rig. So stay tuned for that video where we launch the competition because you know how much you could get with $5,000 on Sweetwater. So big shout out to Sweetwater and Focusrite for doing something like that. Like a $5,000 dream rig could be a game changer for any guitarist. Make sure you're subscribed, you got notifications turned on and all of that so you don't miss that. Or don't, maybe you don't like winning free stuff. Who am I to judge? So that's it for this unboxing video. This thing is so small. Huge shout out to my Patreons for supporting what we do around here. Social media, merch, and Discord server links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. You have been awesome, and I'll see you for the next video.